Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tarot. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. How does he or she see you? This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different piles to choose from. This is pile one. This is an ACO, an art card. This is pile two. This is pile three. And this is pile four. Think of your person of interest and make your selection. If you chose pile one, here is your reading. Ace of Swords, Verdad, The Truth, Honesty by Billy Joe. Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, Love Will Tear Us Apart, Joy Division, Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Death, Death again, the sun, knight of wands, king of cups, knight of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This person finds you very sexually intimidating. You could have a big following on Instagram. You could have a... You could have an OnlyFans account. You're very sexually appealing to a lot of people. You're very visible. You have very strong sex appeal. You're very comfortable with your sexuality. And this person is intimidated by that. You could have a lot more sexual experience than this person. There could be an age gap. You could be a few years older. This person sees you as someone who has total confidence. They see you as someone who is well aware of the power you have over people. You have charisma. Um, you're naturally attractive. 
that you put a lot of thought into your appearance. I'm seeing a strong social media presence here. This person is also intimidated by your intelligence. You cannot be fooled. You cannot be deceived. You see through people. You call people on their shit. And that's intimidating. This is rock star. I'm getting rock star vibes. You could be the lead singer of a band. You could be a model, um, an influencer. I'm just seeing a lot of visibility for pile one. This person is obsessively thinking about you. They're probably having a lot of sexual fantasies about you. If you chose pile one, a possible astro combo for you could be Sun and Gemini, Virgo rising, Moon and Leo, Your person of interest probably has a lot of Earth. I'm seeing Capricorn. A possible astral combo for your person of interest is Sun and Capricorn. Taurus rising. Moon and Sagittarius. But you probably have a lot more fire and air than this person who is absolutely captivated by you. You're the most exciting person that this person knows. You're probably extrovert to their introvert. They feel like you would be up for anything. You would be up for a spontaneous road trip, uh, going skinny dipping in a lake, a river, or the ocean. You've probably been in a few relationships. This is the energy of someone who tends to follow their heart. I'm seeing verbal intelligence. You're very articulate. You could be a writer. You could write music, poetry, fiction. You're hyper creative. And this person is just basically starstruck by you, is what I'm getting. Six. Very attractive. Six is Venus. And you have glamour. Seven is Pisces, Neptune. Neptune is associated with glamour and being photogenic. Five, Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. I can see a lot of intense communication between you and this person, probably a lot of sexting. <sighs> Inspiration just hit. I'm being quiet because it's about three o'clock in the morning in San Antonio. My son's on the other side of the wall asleep. Joe. EJ.
rescue female sheep Sun, Leo, maybe you're an actress, this person sees you as spiritual kin, they could regard you as a soulmate. Skin. I'm seeing only fans. This person wants to drink wine with you. They would need to drink wine or beer or vodka, something to loosen up, to break the ice because they're so intimidated by you. Jake. Okay, that is what I have for pile one. If that resonates, please let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my playlist, which is Rossius. And if you chose pile two, nine of hearts, nine of cups, no matter what, bad finger, no matter what you are, I will always be with you. Nine of clubs, nine of wands, four of hearts, four of cups, judgment, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, The Empress, Page of Swords, The Fool, The Moon, Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords. This person feels that you're a very hard person to get to know. You're unfathomable, unfathomable. You're mysterious. You have layers, you're very complicated, you're very complex. This person would not even begin to know where to start with you. There's something about you that's very um, standoffish, very intimidating, similar to pile one, but this is a much quieter, more subdued energy. I'm not seeing raging extrovert. Um, your person of interest sees you as someone who has very high standards and you have no tolerance for bullshit. They feel like if they were to approach you, you would shoot them down. I'm recalling this time when I was 16 years old and I was on vacation with my dad and stepmom and stepsister. Panama City, Florida. And these drunk guys approached us on the strip. And there was this really good looking older guy, but he was drunk and I shot him down and he called me the queen of rejection. The queen of rejection. Um, but 
regardless if you're a man or a woman, your person of interest sees you as someone who is very feminine, very intuitive. Um, but again, complicated because you have this masculine energy. Nine is Mars, Aries, so that's masculine. Six is Venus, which it's both masculine and feminine. Well, it's feminine, but Venus rules Taurus, which is feminine, Libra, which is masculine. They see you as this blend of the masculine and the feminine. You're soft but hard at the same time. You're really hard to get to know. Very intimidating. Um, they feel you can be very cutting, very blunt with your words. And you don't give off the vibe that you're interested in a relationship at this time. You come across as fiercely independent because we have all these nines, which is Mars, Aries, nine, nine, nine. You seem like you're very focused, you're very goal oriented. You don't come across as shallow or trivial. You don't come across as frivolous. You don't joke much. This is not the energy of someone who just spends hours posting memes on Facebook or whatever. When you post on social media, there's some purpose behind it. You're just very strict with your time and your boundaries. Um, you're probably pretty busy. You could be a single parent. You could be a small business owner. You could be working numerous jobs. You could be a student. But you're intimidating because You're very serious. You're not carefree. You're not that congenial. Um, a possible astral combo for those who chose pile two. Just one possibility. Sun and Aries. Moon and Libra. Pisces rising. I'm seeing Gemini for your person of interest. Possible astral combo. Sun and Gemini. Aries rising, moon and Aquarius. They feel like you're a lot smarter than they are. They find you fascinating, but scary. Mercury, three Jupiter, eight is Capricorn, Saturn. You could have a lot of stuff in the 10th house, which is the house of Capricorn. One, Leo, four, Aquarius, another five. That just jumped out, LDS, Latter-day Saints, or LSD, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Loud. You are not loud. I'm getting introvert vibes.
Maybe you avoid soy. Maybe you're allergic to soy. That's random. Oh, we have Doug. We have Douglas. I never say this. I don't say it at my channel. I don't say it in private readings, but this just jumped out at me. This person may be glad if you made the first move. Gladys. Todd. Okay. I won't be the first, but I would love to be the last. This person likes the idea of being your last lover, so for some, not for all, they may like the idea of marrying you at some point. That is what I have, and you would make a really odd match, probably. You could be just two very different people, two opposites. That's what I have for pile two. If that resonates, please let me know. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, check out my playlist, which is gracias. If you chose pile three, King of Hearts, King of Cups, I Alone, Live, a song from the 90s. I have that song on numerous playlists. Ace of Hearts, Ace of Cups, It's No Good, Depeche Mode. Six of Hearts, Six of Cups, Something, The Beatles, Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, King of Chalices, King of Cups again, Eight of Pentacles. My tarot decks are available at makeplayingcards.com, link in each and every description box. Ten of Swords, The Chariot, Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as their person, their perfect match. Now, Keep in mind, this is a general reading for a vast, unseen collective. It's either your story or it isn't. This isn't going to be everyone's story. But this is very intense. Um, I see this person, your person of interest, being in love with you. But it's complicated. It looks like it is third party. It could be you've not spoken in quite some time. But this person is thinking of you. They're feeling you. They're feeling your energy. Um, I'm seeing love. This is really more about how this person is feeling about you than how they see you because I'm just seeing someone who's currently in love with you for pile three. But they see you as someone who is perfect for them. They see you as someone they want to be in a serious relationship with. Um, they find you stunning. They find you very sexually appealing. They find you very warm and giving. You've had in-depth conversations with this person. This is not casual. This is not a secret admirer. Um, 
you chose pile three, most of you are going to know who this person is because you've exchanged a lot of energy and they see you as their match. They see you as someone who is balanced. There is such a focus here on beauty, visual appeal. You're probably the most attractive person this person has ever known. Um, I can see them gazing at your pictures and just saying, Dan, baby, I wish I could hold you in my arms right now. I mean, they are feeling you. Again, general reading, this will not resonate with everyone. But I'm getting strong love vibes, soulmate vibes for pile three. This person's really fucking into you. Recommended listening. It's no good. Depeche Mode and I alone. Live. Wow. There's probably an age gap. The person who has strong water in their natal chart is the older person. The person with more air is the younger person. So I feel like this person your person of interest, they have more water. A possible astro combo for this person could be Sun and Scorpio. Libra rising, Moon and Pisces. If you chose pile three, you could have Sun and Libra. Libra rising. Moon and Taurus, I'm getting strong Venus vibes for Pile 3. You're naturally good looking. You take excellent care of yourself. You take pride in your appearance. You catch attention wherever you go. If you're a woman, and you leave the house with no makeup on, just your hair back in a ponytail or wearing a baseball cap, whatever. Whatever you do, you attract attention. Um, and this person is very fixated on your appearance, but it goes a lot deeper than that with all this water and the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups twice. That's really strong. They want to come toward you. They want to make this official. But I'm seeing complications. I'm seeing a third party. But this person is really feeling your vibe. They see you as their person. Four. That's Aquarius. Four and four is eight. Capricorn, three. Jupiter, Sagittarius, six. Venus, we have nine. Mars, Aries, ten. Leo, seven. Neptune, Pisces. You just connect all the dots for this person. They're into you sexually. Um, they feel you energetically. They dream of you. There's probably some mental telepathy going on for Pile 3. Again, I'm seeing in-depth conversations. This is a very deep connection. Oh God, I'm 
I'm seeing the notebook, Noah. They could be busy building a house for you. They want to build a future with you. They love your body. They love your body. Ash. Ashley. Ashley. hearing, don't shut me out. <sighs> UT, University of Texas in Austin. Daily, Daily City. It's the last name. You and this person may communicate daily. I'm hearing Hard Habit to Break by Chicago, that song from the 80s. I'm addicted to you, baby. You're a hard habit to break. So, wow, that is pile three. If that resonates, please let me know. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my numerous playlist, Mitchell Gracias. Chose pile four. Nine of diamonds, nine of pentacles. Ain't nobody's business if I do. Billy Holiday. Ace of clubs, ace of wands, just what I needed the cars. Nine of pentacles, no myth, Michael Penn. Here font. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Judgment, Will of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, The Hanged Man, King of Pentacles. <clears throat> I'm seeing new, fresh energy here. Um, this person does not know you. They want to get to know you better. They feel like there are a lot of obstacles. You could be in a relationship. You could be married. Or this person thinks that you are. They think that you're unattainable. They think you're a hard worker, you're independent, you take your goals very seriously. Um, they may see you as someone who is religious or you're on this very strict spiritual path. You may be very, <clears throat> you may be very vocal on social media, very opinionated. Uh, you could be a vegan. You could support some cause and be very passionate about it. 
very passionate about your beliefs. You're not afraid to express your truth. You express your opinions freely. <clears throat> there is lust here. This person does find you sexually attractive, but this is very fresh. This is very new. I don't see this person. having the confidence to really approach you anytime soon. They see you as um, someone who has a lot going on. There is fear of rejection here. They feel that if they were to reach out, you would probably reject them, similar to, I think it was Pile 2. Um... They see you as very high maintenance. They sense that if they were to get into a relationship with you, it would be very involved. You only do relationships. You don't do flings. You don't do casual. This person senses that, that you're very serious when it comes to relationships. You have a lot of self-respect. Um, you don't waste your time. You have this very mature energy. You could be a parent. You could be a business owner. Um, there could be an age gap. You could be a few years older than this person. They feel like you have a lot more life experience than they do. This is the energy of a student who has a crush on their teacher. I'm hearing Hot for Teacher by Van Halen or Don't Stand So Close to Me by the Police. If you chose Pile 4, a possible astro combo for you is Sun and Virgo, Aquarius Rising. Moon is Sagittarius, and this person who's watching you from afar and has this crush on you, this person could have Sun in Virgo, Moon in Aries, Gemini rising, just one possibility, but this is very new, this is very fresh. I don't feel like this person really has a strong sense of who you are. They're just guessing. They're just looking for clues at this point. Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. I don't feel like there's been much communication between the two of you. They may have um, liked something you posted on social media, but I'm not seeing communication for Pal 4. I'm not seeing two people who really know each other. 4 is Aquarius, and then 9, Mars, Aries, 3, Jupiter, 1, Leo, another 4, Aquarius. Bud. Bud. <laughs> um, what? Sub. Substitute teacher. Bess. Bow. Ugh. 
this could be a stalker. wish. This person may wish that he had the balls to contact you. Maybe they have pink hair. Maybe you have pink hair. Someone has pink hair. Or Cookie Monster Blue or purple. Turquoise, magenta. I'm seeing um, that scene in Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. When the two characters first meet and she has the vivid hair. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet and what's his butt? Um, <laughs> Oh my god, Jim Carrey. Okay. Clementine. Yeah. The vivid hair. Show. Showgirls. Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth Shue. Never mind. Elizabeth Shue is in Leaving... Las Vegas, and the girl from Saved by the Bell, Elizabeth Berkeley, is in Showgirls. Okay. But anyway, howdy. That is what I have for Pile 4, and that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.